Good morning. Today I'm going to be sharing my Ellie Edwards January kits that just arrived. They are obviously delayed. It's March 5th today. Uh, these were delayed because of global shipping issues that almost everybody is facing these days. So I've been waiting patiently. I did receive the February kits and have a kit share up on my channel about the February Ally Edwards kits. I also received a couple of goodies here that I ordered. So I will share those after I share the kits. I did have a peek, just I wanted to confirm which kit it was that I had received where I've been kind of waiting on those January kits and also thinking at some point the March kits are going to arrive as well. This is where you can find these kits if you're interested in getting them. Uh, this is not a sponsored content. I buy these kits myself. Uh, but if you're looking for them, you can find them over on AllieEdwards.com. So I'm going to start, I have the Stories by the Month kit, which is this one right here, and I also have the Stories kit. So I'm going to start by opening up the Stories by the Month kit, which is an everyday pocket, like project life, documenting kind of a kit. <clears throat> so it's designed for everyday monthly documenting in a project life style. Every month it comes with three by four cards, four by six cards, and a few other embellishments, as well as a small stamp set. So this kit, which sells for $17.99 if you get one kit, but if you subscribe and commit to buying six months worth or 12 months worth, you can get it for less. I think the cheapest you can get it for is $13.99, then that would be with a 12 month commitment. So these kits come with four four by six cards plus one because there's always also a quote card that comes loose in the kit. So here is the quote card. And then here are the four cards that come in the cellophane with the other cards. So we have one card that has this kind of January all in circles. And it looks like this is going to be a theme because there was one very similar to this in the February kit. It was, they were all pink though. So it, I guess it'll probably vary in terms of the color scheme, but I think the overall design will be various versions of the month in, in circles. <clears throat> so I like that. It's nice to have some consistency through your pages. My pages tend to be a really random mishmash of color schemes, so it's nice to have a bit of consistency. This card I really like. It looks like a piece of fabric or linen or something, and it says three things, one, two, and three. I don't typically like these kinds of cards. I find them difficult to think up, like what three things do I want to talk about? And I just find these sorts of structured uh, journaling cards more difficult to work with, but I really like the design of this one. I especially like those three dots at the top. So I might try to think about, trigger my memory for what what is the three things that I could uh, document there. Uh, of course, this is a January kit. So this card, oh, I love this one. It says, welcoming new starts and beginning again. I love this and I like the idea of putting some journaling in here. Oh, I really, really like this. I'm so glad that I got this kit. I was starting to feel like maybe I don't need a kit. Maybe I can just make my own every month. But yeah, this is nice. Beautiful beginnings with some colorful lines that you could obviously journal on if you wanted to, but you could also use it as a background pattern and put a photo on there. So four, four, by, four plus one, four by six cards, plus we get eight three by four cards. So I'll show you those now. All of these cards are single-sided, by the way. That always makes it a little, I kind of feel two ways about it. I like double-sided cards because it's like you're getting twice the designs, but it can be difficult to choose which side you want to use as well. So uh, I also kind of like having some plain white cards. If for like if there's there's always at least one that I'm sort of like oh I'm, I'll never use that so I can use the white side of it if that's the case. So here we have a card that says moments with bands of color. Really pretty. I like that kind of a design. This one says 2022 stuff I'm looking forward to this year. Oh January you had no idea. Okay so there's that. <clears throat> Then we have uh, this really pretty yellow and just blobs. I think that this is a fun pattern. It would be good to, to house a photo or a piece of ephemera. 
This one says a five, four, three, two, one, and then happy new year. I've already documented my new year. So this one I will probably put away until 2023. This happened and then it says January stuff. So I have already documented my January. So again, I could put this away until 2023, but I could also put something else over this, like kind of arrange my photos so that it is like this, for example, uh, or whatever. Put, put something or a little strip or one of these sentiments or something. Uh, even some of these stickers could go there. So there is a way to use cards that are not current as well. This one says love a fresh start. And of course you can have a fresh start any time of year, not just January. So this one is great to use for if you're, you know, do, doing over a room or starting a new course or um, just even kind of turning over a new leaf, starting an exercise program. There's all sorts of ways to use that. This one says January, this and that. And there was a card exactly like this that said February, this and that. So, uh, so yeah, I, I might put this aside until next year. Um, or I might just kind of use the back of it. Who knows? And then this one says January gratitudes. And there was a card that said February gratitudes as well. So it looks like they're going to be uh, repeating a few things in terms of, I'm pretty sure there was a card like this in the February kit as well. I do like the repetition of, of features. And, and also if we know that there's going to be a gratitudes card coming every single month, uh, then I'll be, I'll keep that more in mind and, and be more mindful of journaling, uh, gratitudes on a regular basis or that, um, that other one. The, uh, yeah, the January this and that. So I might want to kind of think about what might I want to profile this month for my this and that card if I know that there's one of these coming every month. So that's, that's a benefit to belonging to a kit club like that. So I've shown you the card. So every month it also comes with a set. Oh, yay. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy I interrupted myself. So every month it also comes with a little four by six card of chipboard embellishments, chipboard stickers. And the last kit that I got, the February one, the stickers were not stickers. They were just chipboard and they were popping out because the, the, the sticker backing is something that kind of keeps them in place. It makes them very easy to store. I store these kind of right with my four by six cards. And because these don't pop out, it's no problem. But last month, my, my February kit, they were popping out and falling all over the place. And I was thinking, oh no, I'm going to have to find another way to store it. But hooray, they added this. This is more important to me than the packaging. I did like the little zipper pouches. I can live without the zipper pouches, but I don't know if I could have lived without this backing. It really was a headache in, in, um, in February. So I'm very pleased about this. Obviously this chipboard is very specific to January. There's many Januaries on there. Uh, so we've got numbers that are generic and some of these phrases are generic, but a lot of these are specific to the new year, but you can talk about it being 2022 all throughout the year. So I can still use these this month. So I always remove the packaging from everything when I get a kit because I find it just easier to have it more accessible for scrapbooking. Uh, next we have a set of phrase stickers. They're red. I love red. Adding something red like this, especially a small red touch somewhere on your page or on your card is a really great way to add impact and energy to a page. So I really love these. Next we have the stamp set. So this is a three by four stamp set. In addition to the cards, the chipboard, the stamp set and the stickers, there's always some little type of unique embellishment. Ooh, and they're very nice. Oh, and they're also, they have adhesive backing on them. So there are three of them. And they're very... They're very nice, they're good quality. I like that typewriter font. I also like that 2022. 
And I really like that you end up having a lot of things that kind of coordinate with similar fonts and that sort of, that's one of the best things about using a kit is that you don't have to really think too hard about making your pages look cohesive as far as, you know, like as you're flipping through your project from, from week to week. So now that we have taken a look at the January Stories by the Month kit, let's open up the Story Kit. Now, I do not get the stamp set for the Story Kit. I did get it. Uh, I, I subscribed to the Story Kit for an entire year, and then I stopped for a year, and now I've started again. I just looked it up, and it turns out that what I have in my hand here is the December Story Kit. Now, I know that there were some shipping difficulties that I talked about at the beginning, and I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to what was happening. We received emails updating us, but I just kind of thought, well, I trust Allie. I'll get it when I get it, and I wasn't in too much of a hurry, so uh, I didn't really read any of those, so I don't know what the story is, but I've got the Stories by the Month Kit that's clearly for January. And last month, I got the stories by the month kit that was clearly for February because they're obvious. Um, but <clears throat> as far as these uh, story kits go, the one that came yesterday here, which was March 4th, is the Delight Story Kit, which is from December of 2021. And I, that is when I subscribed was December because I thought I wasn't sure if I'd get the December kit or if it would start in January. I thought if I get a December kit, fine. If I don't, that's fine too. I knew I, I know that eventually I'll get what I paid for. It'll all kind, kind of come out in the wash. So I'm not sure what the status is. Um, I'll take a closer look at some point and make sure that I actually got everything I ordered just in case a mistake was made. So <clears throat> it looks like I have the story kit for December 2021 here. I'm going to show that to you. We have... We have delight on a pretty piece of acetate. I like these. They're fun to use. I really like them flat. So this is very pretty. I like that. I like this because I love me some glassine bags. So I will use this for sure as a card. So in these kits, you get a few more cards. This kit is a little bit more expensive. It starts at $19.99. That's for a, I think it's for a 12 month commitment that you get it for $19.99. If you wanted to buy just one time or from month to month, it's $24.99. So in this kit, we get eight four by six cards and 12 three by four cards. Just so darn happy about this. I do really like that. It has a real mixed media feel to it and I love yellow. This one is another quote card. It says, never ever underestimate the importance of having fun. I like this idea of delight. And then we've got a bokeh card. It's a nice bright bokeh. I like that. Ah, then we have delight number one, two, and three and with macarons. My daughter makes macarons and loves macarons, so I like this card. The story, the story, the story. <clears throat> this one says, Delight in the Ordinary. This one says, Currently. I like these currently cards. I wish it had a few negative things, you know, stressed by might be good or, you know, wondering about or something. Uh, found delights. I guess it's a delight kit, so it's not gonna, <laughs> it's, it's gonna focus on the positive. Found delights. And then another quote. I like, I like this. It's pretty. Then we have the three by fours, and these again are all single-sided. Any day Spent with you is my favorite, so today is my new favorite day. Oh, that's cute. Another one of these cards that has a real mixed media look to it. A lot of these have a painterly look. This one looks like watercolor. Just delightful. Delight in the small things. Well, isn't that delightful? I really love this card. I love those bold ellipses. Or that bold ellipse. I guess it's just one. Uh, I like this. Delight, delight, delight. I don't do well with structured journaling like this, but 
I do like the design of this card. I like how it gets darker as it goes down. And oh my goodness, this is my favorite. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's so cute. I love everything about that. Ah, so cute. Delight in the mess. Delight comes in all shapes and sizes. I like this. Enjoy greatly. Oops, enjoy greatly. There we go. Delight in this moment. And more bokeh. Oh, this one is pretty. It's a real 70s feel to it. Really nice. Oh. And then this one says gasp. Oh, so delightful. That's cute. And then we have moments of delight. Oops. Come on. There we go. Pretty coloring here. Now let's have a look at some of these other embellishments. We have a set of heart puffy stickers. These are the shiny kind of puffy stickers. Catch them in the light so you can see what kind they are. So they're not those matted ones, but they're they're nice. I like the colors of them. Oops. Then we have these little things. What is this? What are these? They look like little journaling pockets that have little pockets that have journaling cards in them. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have four little pockets. They each have a delightful saying in the corner. This delightful moment, finding moments of delight, so very delightful, delight in the small things. And then I'll just show you how they're constructed. So they, they look like this. Oops. They're plain on the back. And then they have this little rounded corner card that just slides right in like that. And each card has, is lined in the same color as the pocket so that it matches. <clears throat> if you're wondering about the size, they're three and a half by two, a little bit more than two. Yeah, they're three and a half by two. So they will fit on a three by four card like that if you wanted to. Then we have some little cork speech bubbles. And of course you can make them point either way. So there are two big ones and then two little ones. I especially like the little ones. These are little vellum confetti pieces. Really cute for decorating. And they're in the same color scheme as the other things in the kit. So they kind of go well with the hearts and with the cards and with those little pocket things. This is how they look. They're very pretty and there's, there's plenty in there. Then last but certainly not least, we have the chipboard pieces. And for this kit, the chipboard pieces have are all these little cute speech bubbles. The story of today, afternoon delight, gah, so darn good, just delightful. The story of today, evening delight, finding moments of delight in the ordinary, happy heart. So that's the story kit. I'm actually going to slide this kit right back into its pocket because that's how I'm storing them for now. I can't decide how to store them, so I've been just writing the name. This is just the second one I have in this kind of a uh, in this kind of packaging. So for now, this is how I'm storing them. I just write delight and I put it away. I'm gonna take these all completely off of my table so as not to confuse myself or you when I pull these things out, because these were not included in any of the kits. These were just extras that I got from the shop, but it looks like it's a variety of, like this one says, food related, breakfast, brunch, dinner, um, cook food, eat yum, savory, sweet snack with some stars. 
And then there's some more food here. Ooh, croissants and ice cream and pear and cheese. Oh my goodness, avocado. There's some good, is that a donut? I think it's a donut. Um, taco and coffee. These are some really good, really great stickers. And then of course some stars. You can always use stars and they're this beautiful neutral gray. I love this color. It's like, I'm not sure how I bought that, whether it was like a random pack or if I chose that, but I like it. So next I have some more of these little fabric patch type of embellishments. I don't know what we're calling these. Oh, I like these. There's no change where there is no action. And then this one looks like waves, but it's yellow. I really like that pattern. These are very summery. Ah, oh, you know what? Start small and then an arrow. I like this. I feel like these colors would be great for documenting my upcoming trip to Cuba. So I did add to my order two sets of these cards. They're exactly the same as one another and uh, they're 12 cards. They're actually like a very heavy card stock, probably heavier than the regular cards, I would say, which are also, you know, pretty heavy. Um, yeah, I guess they're about, yeah, they're, they're, they're heavier. They're heavier than the regular cards. These are, these are fairly stiff as well. These have like a smooth coating on them. These definitely feel like cardstock, like they have a bit more of a gritty feel, feel to them or like a matte feel to them, not quite as smooth and shiny as those. Those are not glossy at all, by the way, just relative to these, they're smoother and shinier. I say that because of course, writing on glossy cards is very difficult. You have to be cautious about what kind of pen you use and so on. So the reason I got these is they, they're very basic, simple white cards. And I was just looking for something that's easy and no designs on it that I could just use over and over again so that they'll pop up in different places. That's why I bought two sets of them because I thought 24 cards spread out so I thought it would be really nice to have these sorts of cards interspersed among my pages. There might be some weeks that I don't use any. There might be some weeks that I use one or two. I might only use one every here and there, but I wanted to have these on hand. They just give you an opportunity to document some everyday things. So scrolling. So what have you been scrolling through lately? Is it Facebook, Instagram, Twitter? What are you looking at? Emailing binging, watching, typing, listening. You could print up, you know, the picture of the album from your uh, Apple Music or whatever you listen to. Editing, whether that's videos or I'm doing some design work these days. Uh, calling, been on the phone with my travel agent. Uh, uploading, downloading, texting, and clicking. So one thing I didn't know about these cards, but I'm delighted about as I get it is that, you know, if there's something that I'm not likely to use, like the typing one, for example, I don't do a lot of, when I do write, it's not, it's not um, handwritten. It, it's not typed. Usually I do handwriting, handwritten journaling. You know, the back side is this really beautiful neutral grid and it's very, very faint, which I love. So these are even better than I thought they'd be. So I'm just going to plop these both together. So this is my Stampin' Up! Rounded Tab Punch, which is my all-time favorite punch of all time. <laughs> all-time favorite punch of all time. It's a little crooked, but that's okay as long as I can see it. So now I will place this in with my journal cards. So here are my journal cards. 
These are all of my Project Life cards. I keep them in this, which is a close to my heart medium storage container. I have taken off the lid, which you can't put it back on once you take it off. I had to actually cut it off with heavy duty scissors. But in this, I keep all of my uh, four by six cards. They're mostly organized by color. You can see the tabs here that just indicate the colors of them. I keep Allie Edwards cards separate because they have a bit of a different vibe. So I have a section here for it. So I, have, I use these tabs to divide them into color or into specialty cards. So these are all my Allie Edward cards right here. Uh, I have specialty cards and season cards and grid cards. And then I have, um, you know, all of my cards organized by color. So I'm going to put these cards right here. I, I think I'm actually gonna just put them in front of my colors here. So it goes kind of uh, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then journal cards in the front because that's where there's room for them. So thanks so much for watching my little unboxing video. I'm looking forward to using these Allie Edwards goodies and incorporating them into my project life and maybe even into my 12 by 12 pages, especially these items from the Delight Kit. Uh, I hope that you guys have a really great scrappy week. Take care. I'll see you next time.